Good morning. Welcome back to a new video. I was trying to be fancy and record all these like cute clips, fancy clips of my candle, but big deal. <laughs> um, so I wasn't sure if I was going to start filming today or if I, you know what I mean. I, I just picked up the camera randomly right now because I have not been writing my gratitude journal and this isn't actually kind of this isn't really gratitude journaling what I'm going to share but after I did that I do feel good but I also decided like I should make a list of things that at least I know because I'm sure there's things I'm missing but I made a list I called it what I have that nobody else has or like other you know what does my channel offer that a lot of or have in it or you know it can mean anything like what is different about my channel basically <laughs> I don't know and it's kind of hard to make a list like that because you don't know what other channels everyone else that watches you watches so you don't know what you know the list could be different for everyone else like if every one of my whoever watches my channel if every one of you made a list and wrote down what is different about my channel compared to other channels you watch, it'd all be different, you know what I'm saying? But doing this made me think that I should probably let them know um, because this, this could work for anything. So I'm not really feeling down or anything, but I do think like if I could see like if you're at a job and maybe you just don't feel like you do as good as you probably actually do, maybe you should write down things that you do at your job that no one else can do or they don't have anyone else do you know what i mean just kind of realize like how important you actually are to your job and i don't know it also works as a human as a human as a person if you're just feeling down on yourself write down you know if you think like oh i don't have this and um, it could be like about you, something about you that you wish you had that other people you do think they have it and you don't have that. Maybe you think you're not funny, but you actually probably are funny to a lot of people. Um, that doesn't really help you out, but you know what I'm saying. I think you're, <laughs> I think you know what I'm saying. The point is, if you make a list, I want you guys to do this. I want you to like pause the video after I tell you what to do. <laughs> <laughs> Don't pause it now. You'll be really confused. <laughs> pause this video. Grab a piece of paper. It sounds really dumb, but I want you to do this. And then I want you to tell me how it made you feel. Um, even if you don't feel bad, it probably will make you feel better. Write down a list of things that are special about you. And it doesn't mean that no one else does it. It can just mean that something in your opinion you think is good about yourself you know or different about yourself like maybe your hair is like really really curly like or something I don't know and like a lot of people don't have that um I mean a lot of people do have curly hair but you know what I'm saying like that's a really cool thing because you're different in that way and it's really cool as cheesy as that was you know what I'm saying or maybe you do things differently um, and at first you thought, am I weird because I'm the only one doing this, but maybe that's what's making you really cool. Anyways, do that and then I'll get back to you. <laughs> so how do you feel? Probably good, right? I know you feel good. So I know this seems scripted, but it's not. I just sound really weird when I'm tired. <laughs> so I know you're curious. What did I write on my list? I'm not going to say it all because then I don't need all these YouTubers going to do what I think is good on my channel just to take me off because that's what YouTubers do. And which brings me to a point of one of the things that I actually didn't write on my list, but I do think it's a good thing is that I'm older. I'm an older YouTuber. I do have a baby, but I'm older. I have two teen sons and a baby. So I'm 39. And, you know, which means I'm smart. I pick up on that crap. <laughs> so I think that's a good thing. And because I'm almost 40, it means I have to use a lot of lotion. This isn't wrinkle cream, but it probably should be. 
but I don't want to put my wrinkle cream on because it has sunscreen in it and I don't need sunscreen right now. I'm not going to be out forever. Um, <laughs> but anyways, so I do think that is a good thing. You know, it's something that makes me different as a YouTuber. You know, I do have a baby, so I have like the teen, like I know, I know, <laughs> I understand. I understand what it's like to have teenagers and I understand what it's like to have a baby. I have three kids and I know it's hard being an older mom and having a baby because it's just hard. Also, what makes me different, and I didn't even write this down, I don't think, is that I have tattoos on my hand. And maybe, I don't know if people think that's a good thing or not. <laughs> but what I do like about that, besides the fact that it makes me different, is, or I guess part of the reason I did this, is because this person, it says, rest in peace, Blake. Well, it says R.I.P. Blake. And... Why is it on my hands? Well, for one, we're in Washington, so we're wearing long sleeves most of the time. And so at my old job, I wanted to make sure that even if I'm wearing long sleeves, I can see and remember him, for one, and remember to keep pushing forward. You know, life is short. I wanted to remember life is short and to remember why I'm working hard. And I just always wanted to be, I always wanted to be able to see it or be forced to see it. <laughs> Although you guys may not want to see it, I'm very happy that I did that. And I was actually thinking about having it removed, but now I'm not sure. For one, that's really painful. <laughs> but anyways, that is another thing. Oh, another way that I'm different. Not that it, me having tattoos in my hand makes any world of a difference, but you get what I'm saying. I guess another thing, um, like a simple little thing, well, it's not really simple having one, but the fact that I have a husky. I don't think I've seen a husky on anyone else's channel. And if there is a channel that has a husky, please link it down below. I want to go follow them. <laughs> just to see if their husky can be as crazy as mine. And that's the other thing that I love about having a husky is there's probably a ton of people that would love to have a husky until they realize all the stress that that can bring. And I didn't go and get a dog for YouTube. You know what I'm saying? There are... <laughs> I'm not saying that a lot of people do crazy things like that for YouTube, but there are some. Um, you know, I started YouTube without the thought of having a baby. I did have a baby or got pregnant while I was already doing YouTube, but I did not have a baby for YouTube. Trust me, I cannot keep up. <laughs> that would be nuts. I did not get a dog for YouTube because I got him before I even started YouTube. So anyways, what else was I going to say? Okay, well, for one, another thing, and not many people know this unless they were to go to my YouTube channel and read the About Me section, is I am a child abuse survivor. So that makes me different, obviously. And right off the bat, because of that, if you truly understand, or maybe you've read my blog post and then you really understand where I'm coming from, you know that I am a damn strong woman. <laughs> Had to throw the D word in there. All right, I have my list. I'm not gonna read everything up, but okay. So my little hut, no one else has that. You know why? Because no one else had all the same trash that I had. And I built that out of trash. <laughs> not, not really trash, but all the stuff that I used was going to go to the dump. And I just figured I could probably make something out of that. And let's see. All right, I got one for you. So I feel like I'm doing stand-up comedy, but it's not funny. <laughs> so one of the things that makes my channel 
really special or really different in my opinion, and I'm pretty sure you guys can vouch for me on this one, is that I get a lot of free items. And I say thrift hauls because it's thrifted. It's not at a thrift shop, it's still thrifted items. You know what I'm saying? So I call them thrift hauls or free hauls or whatever. But I get a ton of stuff for free. I can say my home is thrifted, but I can also say my home is full of stuff that the majority of it I got for free. Like this whole dang island that you guys are sitting on top of, I got that for free. <laughs> a lot of paint that I used I got for free. I made my own paint to paint my kitchen, you know. So yes, there are a lot of channels that go thrifting, but do they go and find a bunch of free stuff? No, there are not a lot of channels that find as like that basically furnish their home and their whole home is like, most of it is free or they got for free now after I'm saying that you just watch there's gonna be a lot of channels that are looking for free stuff <laughs> because that's how YouTube works well I should probably pull this over here so it looks cooler because I'm on YouTube so that's all I have to say about that <laughs> okay my floor is really squeaky. Let's get past this point. Because I'm a professional. <laughs> I don't film when I squeak. But anyways, I'm sure that you guys are probably wondering, well, with all that being said, what the heck is this video about? I don't know. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I really don't know. It's just a day in the life. I just figured I would tell you guys that little feel like it's a life hack you know if you're feeling down that will make you feel better and I gotta let my dog in I gotta let my husky in yeah because no one else lets their husky in Alright, so my daughter Jay is awake now. I'm gonna bring this little car outside. I got this for free. It's a little cozy coupe. So I need to learn how to drive. Roll this outside. <laughs> okay, I'm coming. I'm coming. They're really good at being in the way. There we go. Drive all off the deck. Ah. Oh, you know what? I was thinking, like, darn it, because now she can't go there because I moved the table out and put the house there. But I had one of my friends on. Whoop, I just ran into this. <laughs> Something. Anyways, one of my friends on here, Sissy, told me, um, that hey, maybe one of those kitchens would fit. And I said, no, I don't think so, because it's too big, but I'm gonna try to fit this one in there anyways. So that's what I'm doing right now. Okay, so I moved this back. <laughs> so when she goes out this door, it's like a backyard. See? So, I'm going to bring the kitchen in there, see if it'll fit, and yeah, and she can go in and then go, oh, it's gross though, because it's all wet from the, from the AC, and it's not too bad right there, I guess, so oh, let's put the kitchen in there. What do you have? Okay. Oh, 
Well, I can move the house over the kitchen. <laughs> or I can do this. some snacks okay hold on it works it's so cute thank you for that idea I love it and it's actually like perfect amount of room for her to walk by because when I had that pink chair in there she had like to go around but I could still put the chair if she wants to sit also I'm gonna do that real quick go inside your kitchen's in there what do you think <laughs> That's how I have it. Huh? What'd you find? Oh, some grass? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Say you're welcome. <laughs> okay, let's go get a snack. Uh -huh. In a different cup though. Or at least wash the lid. <laughs> Okay, so one thing I wanted to share with you guys, if you're new here and you have a baby, um, like if you buy those little pouches, don't do that. Go on Amazon and get like actual reusable pouches and just buy your own yogurt or applesauce or whatever you want and just reuse it. Reuse it over and over. It's a lot cheaper. Whew. Okay. Um. <laughs> so... I left and I picked up my mom. My mom's outside in the pool right now. And my mom's legally blind. Not that, I guess it doesn't really make a difference, but I seen her, she's floating around in the pool and I saw her with the um, little net cleaner thing. And it looked like she was trying to push herself through the ladder. So I was like, she just, she's just cleaning. I asked her and she's like, oh, I'm having so much fun. <laughs> Cause there's some stuff down at the bottom of the pool that we got to clean out. but. She's just doing it in there. <laughs> so funny. <laughs> She's so funny. When you're watching this, Mom, thank you. <laughs> you didn't have to do that, though. Anyways. My goodness. Um, where's my magnet? Oh my goodness, these child blocks. So, Jalen. Oops, so Jay's eating right now. Hold on, I gotta get a bag. Gotta get a bag. <laughs> I'm gonna sound funny. Because I gotta put a bag in my bathroom trash because it drives me crazy. Well, I forgot I have like little plastic baggies. Like, well, this is, you know what I mean? Not grocery bag but I'm gonna do that real quick hold on okay here's the state of my room just to let you guys know the diaper that's folded up there is clean um Jalen was wearing that before Earl gave her her bath last night bed is made and then while I was in here I had a couple things of clothes clothing items to put away so I did that um I think those are the boys that's why they're on top and I wore that to bed last night but it's got me thinking I'm sorry it's so dark in here but um, I don't want to open the curtains because it's just going to get hot, but I'm going to hang my pictures finally. Also, I found my tiny little tripod. So cute. <laughs>
myself starting from scratch brick by brick no path carved out for us now the brush is Okay, that took me forever. I mean, I need to add more pictures. Like I'm probably gonna put one here or a bigger one up there, I don't know. But there's a start, that took forever. Okay, so you guys wouldn't know this if I didn't tell you, but it's the next day. <laughs> um, I change a lot anyways, but it did. it's the next day. So, I just lost my train of thought. Let me tell you, let me think about what we did yesterday well, okay, so my mom came over. She was swimming. Um, she got out of the pool, and she was hanging out, kind of like in a chair, like sitting in the sun drying off, basically. And I was sitting out there with her and Jalen, and I finished, I think, <laughs> I filled up all the flagstone pathway to the barbecue station. I don't know if I love it, but my goal was like, you know what, make it work. And if I want to flip around um, pieces later, I can, you know, if I'm not loving it, but at least see what it looks like and find a way to finish it, kind of. <laughs> I'm trying not to stare at it too much because I know how I am and I'm gonna move stuff around regardless. That's just what I do. I do that in my home too. Speaking of, I have my daughter laying down for a nap. That's not what I was even gonna say, but I know you hear her. <laughs> she is not asleep. <laughs> So, yesterday, I think before my mom had actually come over, I hung up the second clothesline. He got me another another clothesline, which you guys didn't even know that. He ordered me another clothesline, or did you? Yeah, I think I told you. So I hung that up. That's besides the point. That's hanging up right now. I got clothes out there hanging up, so that's nice. It helps, you know. Um, one thing I was thinking of doing yesterday, but I didn't do it, was we need to wash her little house. We're not doing it today. She needs a nap and before she even gets up or like, you know, I'm just, I'm just not feeling it. I, I feel sick today. Not like sick where I'm not going to be posting, but my stomach is just not having it today. Today, it's not having it. <laughs> Why do I start vlogging? <laughs> um, so here's the thing. <laughs> Our little table it, with the umbrella, I put it in the grass. Um, the only thing I don't like about that is the dogs will go over there. Jack will pee regardless of where it's at, but they don't poop on the uh, patio. Like they don't poop on the porch, they don't poop on the patio or whatever, the concrete area. They don't poop on stuff like that, which is weird. Um, considering Jack will pee anywhere. <laughs> um, but the reason being is I moved it and because her house, it was like, I put her house in the grass one day and I already told you this, she didn't like it. And yeah, I could be like, oh, well, you're dealing with it, but I'm, that's not the kind of mom I am, I guess. I'm just kind of like all over the place with mother, motherhood or <laughs> the way I mother my kids is like kind of all over the place. Like, I like to give them healthy stuff, but then sometimes I don't care. <laughs> I like to make them happy, but I don't want them to run the house. <laughs> so I'm kind of like that in-between mom where I'm I'm not, if you have to call it something, you know how like they have the crunchy moms and then there's the silky moms. I'm like, whatever's in between, maybe. I don't know, maybe I'm not anything, but hold on. She got really quiet. Let me check her out real quick. 
Okay. She still has her clothes on. We're good. And I was just going to go pee, but I figured I would, I don't know why I'm telling you that, but because I'm going into the bathroom, I'm going to show you one thing I did. So, okay. First off, let me just start by saying this. This is going to be, the rest of this video is basically going to be me showing you things I did and hoping you get motivated without watching me do the things. <laughs> but because you see the things that I did, uh, I hope, because I'm just, I didn't record it. I was really motivated last night, rearranged the backyard, and this morning I did stuff, and then all of a sudden I had lunch, which was leftovers, and I just don't feel good. So that's the rest of this video. <laughs> if you're not into that, you might want to click off, but let's get into it. So, okay. Okay, so I don't even know where to begin. So these little pictures, I kind of, you know how I do this to all the wood basically in my home at this point, besides painting trim. Um, I did it to the other side of this door. On the other side to every single door that you see in my home, besides our bathroom door, like any door that looks like this basically in the hall, I basically whitewashed it very lightly on the doors. I don't know if you can even tell, but see how it's like a lot lighter, obviously, than that side. I guess you can't tell. But anyways, I sloppily did it to the frames on these pictures. And because this picture is actually a cream color and this is more white, like the actual background of this, I, um, I actually painted it too. I like went over it with white paint too. And I don't even know if you can actually tell, but it doesn't matter. I think it looks better than it used to because I hung them up. I was thinking they were actually under my sink down here and it was just like, see how crowded it is? I don't have room for pictures down there. And with these kind of pictures, the bathroom's obviously the only place where these go and they're only gonna go in this bathroom where the boys also use this bathroom as well. So yeah, I did that. Um, I did that this morning. I also, this little, whoo, mama, this little wax warmer, I like turning it the, the way with the lights out, but I'll show you, oh my gosh. But that's what that looks like. My friend Amy sent that to me. If you're already here, you already know that, but I put French toast um, wax in there. So there's that. Okay, I feel much better now. <laughs> Anyways, I brought this wax warmer out, put the French toast in there as well. And then I put a plug-in wax warmer or whatever you want to call it into my laundry room or plugged it into my laundry room. And well, I switched the one that was in, I'll just show you. Oh my gosh, why do I do that? I just stand and talk. Okay, so. By the way, earlier I did take that ball pit and I put it outside, but Jack was really, really trying to pee on it. So I put it back in here and then I, I mopped the floors today. The only way to really tell is like this section. Well, oh my gosh. In that area where it still looks dirty, but y'all have seen it like when it's really, really bad. So you can probably tell, but that's besides the point. Take you guys in here. So this little star one was in the bathroom. So I switched it out with the fall one um, because it's more of a nightlight for my kitty. So, oh, and another thing, the treadmill here. That's what that is. The plug, it was plugged in, but barely. Um, it was plugged in enough to have the, like there's, well, you can't tell, but at night there was a little red light that I seen on the wall. So I'm like, okay, it's plugged in, but it kept making this creepy noise, like da, 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 like banging around. And when I turn on the light switch, or when I turned off the light switch, it would, it would do it. And then I turn on the light switch and it would stop. I'm like, oh my gosh, is, is a fire going to happen? Like, that's all I was thinking. Is it going to explode or what's going on? And then I just realized I had to plug it in a little bit more. Yeah. But anyways, the point is, um, with the French toast wax going, 
Um, it just made the house smell so good. And by the way, there's no laundry. It's all out on the line. No laundry in there. And there was laundry on the table yesterday. I had folded that this morning and put it all away. Totally forgot to put that on my post that I had on Facebook because I wrote down a morning routine. <laughs> I was like, didn't film any of this. Oh, um, I got to stay here so I remember. So, hold on. <sighs> okay, my mind is going a mile a minute. Wish my mouth would. <laughs> um, anyways, what was I saying? So, the house... Excuse me. No, <laughs> that was my shoe. The house is smelling so good. And then after I mopped, it smelled like pine and French toast, of, which is a really weird combination, but it still smelled good. And I swear the French toast overpowered the pine smell because that pine cleaner that I used that I was showing you guys in my last video, it's really strong. And you smell it for like the whole day plus the morning of the next day. So if pine salt or pine glow doesn't do that for you and you like that, like the long lingering smell, use that. I'll probably... Well, just check out my last video. I'm just kind of all over the place. Before I forget to tell you, so one thing that I noticed with um whew, with hanging clothes on a line and not using fabric softener because I felt like well, I've never bought that stuff. Like I feel like it's a waste of money unless you go to like Dollar Tree. I just feel like. I don't need to spend that money and our clothes are fine when we use a dryer but ever since i started um hanging clothes in the line like especially our towels our towels would be this is why i think i've been itchy i don't think it's a detergent although i still kind of want to get into better alternatives with that i think it's because they're just hard like they're not super hard but they're like kind of rough like our towels are stiff kind of and I looked it up and either fabric softener, wash your clothes with that, then hang them on the line. I was looking for like a spray that maybe once they're on the line, you could spray them. <laughs> um, but when, before your clothes do like the wash or the wash, the rinse cycle, you put a cup of white vinegar in there. And so I, I have not tried it yet. I mean, I did that, but they're hanging up. Like I just did it with the load that's on the line right now. I'm going to take you guys out there, not to show you the clothes, but, you know, show you what I did to the yard. But, um, so we'll see. We'll see if it helped. I did notice the way they felt in the wash, like as I was pulling them out, they do feel a little less stiff, which is weird. I didn't think I'd notice anything right away. Um, so yeah, just a cup of white vinegar to soften to, as like clothes, fabric softener, whatever. So all right, I need to stop filming for a second because I have so many more things, I think, I think, that I need to tell you. And I am, I'm going to actually write them down so I don't forget because I hate that. <laughs> so, hold on. Okay, so totally off subject. Not that any, not that there's a subject. <laughs> but the, I just seen, I was sitting on my couch for a second. Um, editing the last clips I did real quick and I just seen I heard a crow right I look across the street so I noticed this a long time ago there's a bunch of crows that they always hang on top hang out on top of this one house like all the time and what they do in, over at my place is like they love the pond they'll bathe in the pond and stuff so it's like they'll take a bath at my house and then go and just drive the neighbor crazy because I seen him come out pick up one of his rocks that he has out front and chuck it at the crow. <laughs> I think it's so funny. It's like, really? You need to like find a way to not be annoyed by something that you are never going to get away from because guess what? They're everywhere. Um, but anyways, that's just coming from someone that loves crows. Like I even have a crow tattoo. <laughs> anyways. Okay, I'm just going to take you out, show you the flagstone, because I know that's probably the thing that you actually care about. And then I'll try to, I wrote down some stuff that I'll talk to you about so I, so I can calm down. Calm down. So let's go outside. Also, this guy, I just let him out. He seemed like he had to go out, and all he did, excuse me, was stand right here at the door. I'm going to leave it open. Um, come on. Come out. Is it too hot for you? 
yeah it's pretty warm so that is what that's looking like i did post a picture on facebook um i don't so this well there's a lot of things i don't like i don't like all the i don't like a bunch of smaller pieces being close to each other and anything that looks similar i don't and it's next to each other i don't like that so like this how that's long and then you have a long one and a long one i don't like how that looks i don't like how this really looks it's too much pointiness going on and um this right here i wanted a piece that wasn't looking like this so i didn't use this piece right here even though it's wider but you know what you get it you get what i'm saying i wanted a piece that had some kind of shape other than that <laughs> but if i brought this in more well it just it's not working out you know what i mean but i'm not i'm not gonna touch it but that is what it's looking like let me step back i'm afraid to trip so there we go that is what it's looking like i mean it's not bad I have some level level ooh, leveling out to do we've got so what I do is I just take grass clumpings and you know kind of raise it up like pull the piece up and throw some grass or whatever under it and here's another thing so this is like Earl's idea I'm the one doing it but it's like I'm doing what he wants if it were me oh first off I didn't even say so he wants it this wide instead of just going to the gate because there's like a little bar area there so that's why it goes way far out now if it were me i would um since the gate is angled i mean i did kind of make it go out a little bit but i actually brought it in a lot but if i did it how i would want to do it first off I know the yard dips down and we already talked about why he just wanted them laying on the grass and eventually he's going to put soil over it and have grass seed and I don't know. It's going to look different, but if it were me, <laughs> the way I am is I would dig down a little bit and I would have like it be kind of like skinny a little bit, well as wide as the gate and then kind of go out a little bit or as wide as the gate come out go in a tiny bit just to give it some like wiggly effects you know kind of go like this and come out but it would be like coming this way and being wider at the end that's what i would do and it would be laying down inside and then i would take um well i can't really show any pea gravel which is the gravel we have on the other side of the yard don't look at my underwear okay I would put the pea gravel in between like I had like I had done it over here when it was all when I just freshly did it um like in the way beginning of my channel that's what I did over in front of the the actual shed <laughs> I say that because I call that the she shed I don't know what to call it it's whatever anyways so Jalen's been getting kind of a lot of outdoor toys and the whole house situation she didn't want it in the grass right so that i had the table here on the corner there basically where the house is and i had the house here you've seen it in the last video i mean maybe you've seen it yesterday what am i talking about but you see me moving it around i was trying to find a better solution so when i obviously wasn't in the mood to pull out my camera and film it <laughs> i kept switching them back and forth like I pulled the table this way and then I'm thinking of her car and like what if she wants to go all the way from like over here and go this way in her car so I had the house over here and the car over here and then I was like the table was just you know the AC is nasty dripping and it just got me to the point where I was like I'm, I'm done with it I'm moving the table away one of the reasons so by the way that's where it's at and one of the reasons for moving it besides the fact that she has so many toys and stuff and i wanted her to have a little space to play like her little area was because seeing the umbrella and being bunched up next to this thing like the, like look up i mean there's you got the lights strung up you have string from this thing you have that thing and then before that thing was even hung up we have 
string strung in be like in between the lights to kind of like have them loop up like that it's just a lot going on and then with the, all the strings and then that and the umbrella I was like you know what I just I can't <laughs> it's an eyesore there's so much crap going on I can't help that I have a baby not that I would want to but I was like I'm just putting the table over there so because I moved it over there I was trying to make a triangle I guess what you know what I mean like this the swing so like the fire pit the swing and the table I was trying to kind of like triangulate that situation but then the swing was when it was a perfect triangle it was like the swing was too close to the line yeah so that's that's where we're at with that and then um that's what I did with the second line the only bummer is Earl well I guess it's not that centered huh but I thought he had centered this one the first one it doesn't matter I spaced it far enough apart it's kind of far but it's fine so yeah that's that by the way um i'm sure some of y'all are probably curious do i leave the ladder in the pool at all times hell no <laughs> i have a toddler she even if she your kid is not into everything please do not leave a ladder in a pool if you can help it so i always like when my mom got out i moved the ladder I don't care if anyone's watching her or not. It's just safe practice. Just get the freaking thing out of there. So, but the point is I had the ladder here. Um, <laughs> so she could, so my mom could step out onto this little board. This was a top, a tabletop for my log table that I made. Well, makeshift table. I made this little weird thing. But, um, yeah, my mom, there was, it was, this was worse. I'm kind of bummed out that I didn't even show you guys because it was a lot worse it's hard to tell what it after looks like when you don't even see it before but now I see a ton of bugs floating around so I don't know why I'm showing you but whatever so oh and this thing fell down today and Jack was over here and he jumped so high it freaked him out and I think I already showed you over here but I only did a voiceover so I wanted my main reason to finish that um, flagstone path was to see what it looked like but also I wanted to see average if I do switch some around I wanted to get an average of how many pieces I'll still have left because I think I would have enough pieces to like kind of you know go out this way like I love how that is curved because this thing is so dang boxy anyways I thought it would be kind of cute to like kind of curve it as much as I can so and I like that this curve goes with the rock and that rock is perfect because it kind of makes it makes sure the wall doesn't go anywhere but I don't know if you guys can tell but it's sort of slanted and I also got to fix that board back there but if you're wondering why it's because the dogs dug a hole and it's kind of going down but so I was trying to say I didn't even finish what I was saying because I there was too much talking on the voiceover in my last video but I was saying I did say how this is wobbly and this is not really like a great t I liked the table but because the tile was already coming off like I got this for free even though a lot of tile was already broken off I was trying to break it off completely and I was gonna redo it but it's just not something I'm up for doing right now. I might keep this, but I'm not going to keep it here. That, this is supposed to be a place, like, to relax. And I don't want someone to, like, you know, whoa, sit down in here and have to worry. I'm like, obviously, if they leave it, it's fine. But, you know, with kids coming over or, like, Jalen, I don't know. I just feel like it's easier if I were to put something else in here or put that little log back plus I don't really care for like how it looks it's too it's like I don't know how to explain it it seems like everything's cute and then all of a sudden you got this weirdness going on and I think it looked a lot better with my little stump in there so anyways 
That was a lot. I just tried to push record and it didn't work, but there's a clothesline. This one needs to be wrapped around that thing, like the actual thing on the wall, because the little part that you can wrap it around, um, let me just show you, I always, I've, I've said this like three times already, but I always do that. So, I've wrapped this around so many times I can't even do it anymore, it just will come off. So what I need to do is, the next time I take the clothes off, I need to like, bring it back in and wrap it through this, like the whole thing, because it's, I, it seems fine, but like this is not sturdy enough. Like it would, I don't know, you know what I mean? I just gotta fix it. So, another thing I did, oh, there's the water. I'm bring that in. Another thing I did is I took all those bricks or whatever you want to call them and put them down there so first that was not that simple it wasn't like oh I just put some bricks down there I had to shovel the freaking gravel in there which took me forever because I'm like trying to be careful not bang the board and then I walked all the way to one side of the yard carried each one one by one and then so finally I got what three six nine i got nine of them and the reason i did that is so jack hopefully will quit being able to get into the barbecue station and the weird thing is i don't know why it's like he hasn't even figured it out or he's maybe he's afraid to because this is like it would hurt if he got caught on it but he totally can jump that and he can jump that too he can jump the bar so <laughs> but what he does is he tries to climb under it I even saw Jalen try to climb through there. I was like, oh, please don't. We we need a different um, board down there. But anyways, I did that. So I'm going to step back and show you. I didn't really do it for looks, but I tried to make it, you know, look the best I could. I took a picture of it and sent it to Earl. And he's like, it looks good. And I'm like, well, I did it. So hoping, you know, Jack wouldn't climb in there. But also... Um, as I was bringing them over here, by the time I got to this, I was like, oh, okay, well, some are flat and some are pointed. So I just kept bringing them and putting them no matter what they were. And when I got to this one, I counted them out. I got five points and four flats. So I was like, that's perfect. I'll just make it every other one. Just to make it a little bit nicer, even though I regretted it because I was exhausted after that. <laughs> also, I got to clean up a pile right there. That's cool. So, um, that's what it looks like from in here. Oh, let's we'll just go in. So, um, a lot of this gravel, um, was like pouring out. And so it like actually kind of, not that it leveled it out, but by the door for sure. Like I spread it and try to make it as even as I could I can tell I totally it dips down in a lot of places but I think that looks pretty good so I don't know what do you guys think <laughs> our yard I just feel like it's like especially with the lines for the clothes and clothes on the line it just is like kind of chaos so I needed to kind of like calm it down in whatever way I could and I felt like moving the table was a good idea also i wish i would have shown you at night so at night we have the string lights but that doesn't light up over here and as i was moving the table i was thinking oh darn it's not gonna light it up if you were chilling out here at night um but when he turns the string lights on this light is super bright and it lights up all in here and it will go out from the bar the light will hit the table and it's not like obnoxious by the time it reaches the table. It kind of calms down a little bit, but the point is you can see. Um, I don't know, I think it I think it looks okay. And before I showed you the um, little bricks or whatever right there, I was gonna kind of show you what I meant about the, like, about the fire pit. 
Well, I guess I have to do it this way. So, standing at the fire pit. So, I guess with the table, it was like that was centered. And the only way to make it, like, work was basically the corner right here. The bench was, like, this way. And it was sitting there. So, the legs were, like, way too far out. It was, like, right here. But now, sitting in the middle of the bench, it's, it's not bad. I think it looks fine. I feel like I'm thinking too much about it, but I'm trying to make our yard look as nice as I can without making it look crazy. But I actually really love the table over here. We totally need to mow. I am I was thinking of mowing, but I was just I do not feel like it today. Hopefully I feel better later. Um but yeah, I think it looks cute if you didn't see a laundry basket. You know. <laughs> it's like you get to sit on the bench and you see a little, you know, if we're doing something there, like oysters or, um, we need some like camping chairs. I think we have some, but I'm not sure. I think we actually got, I think we need new ones. That's right. That is one thing we do need. So I need to keep an eye out for free ones, but yeah, it'd be cute. Like just little camping chairs and I can either leave them out, but I'd rather like put them away, but the boys can do s'mores and stuff and I just like how this area here is more cleared off like that above that just looks so much better than the house and I know there's a lot of toys and stuff over there but I feel like the toys looks better than that tarp with an umbrella and all the strings I don't know I think it looks good also I did move the fire pit and that's what the grass looked like under it. It's so weird. All right. Um, I did turn off the AC. Hold on, I gotta, I gotta take a minute. Okay, another thing I did today. I think it for some reason. Oh, because I kept grabbing a spoon to scrape out the wax. You know what I mean, the old wax. I kept doing that. And because I didn't save the first one because I kept changing. I don't know. Whatever. The point is, this was a disaster. Um, I just got annoyed with, I don't even know. It was bad. So basically, I just cleaned it out. I didn't clean these out, which I should because that's just gross. But uh, I'm going to do that real quick. Hold on. Nasty. gross i'm just gonna do a before and after of this <laughs> okay so those little packets that were all in here this i'm keeping this eventually I'll, just, I'll write it down somewhere else or whatever but earl likes to keep this it's a dough recipe um that he really likes so i'm gonna share that with you because i know now you're like well what is it <laughs> but anyways that's what it looks like much better no crumbs i feel good i did wipe this drawer out and stuff but I didn't do these I was just like I was being productive but not too productive and that's the key I did come back to it so it's okay to do half-ass jobs um eventually you'll finish it so anyways hold on gosh this thing is like a treasure map dough recipe oh my gosh I can't even read it I don't know if that means one or one, two to two and one third cup flour. What in the world? Um, yeast, two and a quarter teaspoons of yeast. My goodness, Earl. <laughs> one, goodness, one and a half teaspoon sugar, three quarter cup teaspoon salt, quarter cup, or gosh, three quarter teaspoon of salt, quarter teaspoon garlic powder, two tablespoons of oil, and three quarter cup <laughs> yeah three quarter cup warm water yeah this is all kinds of 
see-through it's like transparent yep all right now i know where the treasure is <laughs> well i tried to straighten up the little paper but it's not working oh my gosh i am burning up okay another thing i noted i didn't do this i didn't do any i didn't do anything it wasn't me <laughs> did i do that um remember that tea that i got this thing um my mom was like but you don't know anyone with the name that starts with T or whatever. And I'm like, I just figured it out the other day. So I bought this for free and I figured out what it stands for. Toilet, <laughs> it stands for toilet. I thought about hanging it on the bathroom door. Doy, <laughs> thought about hanging it on the bathroom door, but it's like, yeah. So anyways, I thought that was funny. I thought I would share. <laughs> oh yeah, if you are new here and have not watched older videos of mine and you're wondering what is going on in my hallway, <laughs> So this is just like pictures that my kids had drawn or drawn, well, drawn or painted when they were little or whatever age, you know, pictures and stuff for my kids or the You Are My Sunshine where I need to repaint the sunshine. This, um, it's a plaque and I hung this up because it's something I've always sung to my kids. And then I just hang up things that I love in my hallway. Um, I love this picture and I love the quote, live by the sun, love by the moon. I have this wolf picture, well, mom wolf and a baby um, with a wolf den and, <laughs> ow, who put that there? And this big one is what Jay's painted. It was a big, I believe a moose, or no, not a moose, an elk. That's what it was, his elk, so cute. And, uh, just uh, actual pictures of Julian and Jalen. Like I have so much more I need to actually hang up in here and then I got my toilet. <laughs> and if you want to see what this looks like on, it's kind of jinxy or whatever. Oh, it kind of worked. Sometimes it just flickers forever. Oh, wait. Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> um, and these are pictures that Jace had drawn and he's 15, if you need to know. So you get a little bit of a close up on that. It's so cool. Cowboys and aliens. <laughs> That's what it makes me think of. But anyways, um, and then a paper bag. That looks really cool. Is it crooked again? This, no, this thing's crooked. It's been driving me bonkers. All right, and then I, had pictures up here, but I kept slamming my door on accident and it just kept shooting off the wall. So they're not there anymore. And then I gotta open Julian's door and step back. But there's these, um, just random pictures I painted a long time ago. And I had my other mountain pictures that were down here. I just wanted it to kind of be like, God, get it together, Monica, that talking to a wall. Um, sorry about that. <laughs> um, I just wanted it to be like an, like an art gallery. There's the mountain pictures that I painted that were also in there. And I don't know if this is going to stay this way. Um, originally I wanted one of these on each side of the big one. That's how I usually do it. But if I put one of those on the side, um, the barn door, the stopper is that square right there. And it's, it's not got enough space. So yeah. I am burning up. It's hot out. Look at my cheek. Gosh. Um, so I wanted the hallway to kind of be like inspiring, I guess. That makes sense. Inspiring or things, things that we love, you know. I wanted it to be art or pictures. And I, I feel like pictures are art also, as in like when you take a picture. I feel like that's a way of expressing yourself, like things that you love and um, quotes. I love quotes. So I definitely want way more paintings, way more quotes, way more drawings, way more photos, um, all kinds of stuff like that. Um, letters, I don't care. I just, I think that would be perfect. And honestly, I would prefer them to go almost all the, like down way lower, but I have a toddler, so yeah. Yeah, there's that. Oh, I have to show you guys my tomatoes. Let me take you out front real quick. I forgot, I gotta turn this on again. I turn it off sometimes because 
Well, it kind of drives me crazy. Oh my gosh. She's so cute. Look at her. My little ball of fur. Okay. I've got to make sure he don't try to escape. Sorry, to quickly. I'm not doing anything. <laughs> okay. Oh. So last night, this little side window, Arcadia always goes out here, and we had the green chair down there, and it was gone, so she couldn't come out. Or she was, like, trying to come out, and she was like, where am I going to go? Because there was no chair. I put it, I'm talking about the green chair in the she shed. So then I pulled one of the red chairs from that table. Also, there's a third chair. It's all ripped up in the barbecue station. I'm sure you've seen it. And eventually, I want this to go where I had pulled the flagstone from, so in front of the shed. But I'm not doing it right now. So I stuck that chair there for the cat to come out last night. And holy, every time I come out, I swear it's different. So I already watered these this morning. I don't see anything though. These are not tomatoes. <laughs> That's what you guys are thinking. What is she doing? Those are peppers, but there's nothing there yet. But yeah, there, let me step back. There's my tomatoes. That's what they look like after I trimmed the crap out of them. There goes Maddie. Julian just got dropped off. Hi. Looks like you went camping. <laughs> look, we got tomatoes. I know you want to get inside. Oh, be careful because Jack will try to come out. No. Oh, I guess they kind of look the same. Are they bigger, guys? I can't tell. <laughs> and I'm the one that sees them all the time. <laughs> they have to be bigger. Like these ones right here on the edge. They're pretty big. They're getting there. That's pretty cool. I know I did see them. I'm trying to show you guys. I'm horrible at this. Alright, well. Getting tomatoes. That's the point. And also the point is this is that when you prune the heck out of your tomatoes and it looks like oh man you messed up look it's fine oh there we go look at them they're beautiful i'm so excited let's try to get you guys underneath so you can see what i don't see all right i think y'all have had enough tomatoes for one day Another thing I was thinking about, um, kind of, I don't know if I want to get rid of this thing. Okay, so here's the thing. The table that's over there, since I want to take that out of here, I was thinking of putting this over there, even though there's no garden over there in it, you know, but I figured like if I could just keep some plants, but then again, and there's nothing in here, there's soil and no plants, but, um, okay, so I kind of want this by my little she shed. I think that'd be so cute. And I know that's ground coverage and I love that stuff, but eventually I would love for this to grow between um, the flagstone and the she shed. I think that'd be so pretty, oh my gosh. But for right now I have it contained. Well, I was trying to get that bee, but now I'm afraid. Look at him. Oh, also, by the way, I said I was going to repaint this sign a long time ago. I don't have any, well, I might have some paint, but I don't have white paint to paint over this and start over. Um, I have those little white paints, but, or paints, but they're not going to work. So long story short, I can't do it right now. But instead of painting family and actually making that look like an F more than a B, I have a completely different quote that I came across. And I am in love with it. I feel like it's even better than family. It's so much more meaningful. And it sounds really weird, but one day I can do it. I don't want to tell anybody what it is until after I do it. Because I don't want to give anybody any ideas until after I do it first. <laughs> but yeah, so totally have a great idea for that. And I cannot wait. Okay, so I'm back outside. And actually, my phone died. And I was going to like close this video out hold on oh this is weird but you can still see my eyes um julian's like 
we just got a package. Uh, so this package came, it's for my mom, and it's a light that's also a fan for Earl in the barbecue station. So I'm gonna turn you around and show that. Show you that. He's not here right now. I installed it thinking he'd be home anytime, so I was like freaking out trying to hurry up, but I'm gonna turn you around and keep talking. So that is what it looks like. It has three different light settings. Um, I'm not gonna turn it on right now just because I don't want him to show up and see that I'm messing with it. I kinda wanna just have it kinda be hidden until, cause this will turn on. It has a remote, but this is plugged in to turn on um, the same time whenever you turn on the lights right there. So I think that'd be cool. Just wanted to share that with you guys and thank you mom. I tried to call her and thank her, but um, she's not answering right now. Right now, Julian and Jalen are playing. And, <clears throat> And we are like sitting out here eating watermelon and kind of waiting on Earl to show up because we're actually going to have a barbecue with his, one of his younger brothers <laughs> and his family and stuff. So that is what we're doing tonight. So we're actually going to be having carne asada. He's going to be cooking that out here, <laughs> probably on this, I'm assuming. Um, but I'm not going to be filming all of that. This video is already really long and I want to actually get this video up for you guys today. There was one more thing. Let me sit back down. There was one more thing I wanted to share. Um, it was just like kind of everything in this video is random, but it was so random. It's like a tip for keeping up on your home is, um, let's say, you know how like things aren't always going to be in their spot. It just won't happen. Like my daughter wears her shoes and ends up taking them off in the bedroom. Well, her shoes, for some reason, are in a bin in her living room, which also doesn't make sense, but that's where they're at. <laughs> so I took something that had been out in the living room that needed to go into our bedroom. Then when I got to the bedroom, I took boots. You know, when you go to a room and you see something, before you leave the room, if you can, grab that thing and put it back. Instead of thinking, oh, that's there, oh, well, you know, don't let stuff collect. I think that helps me a lot. Also, the whole, oh, I guess there is still dog poop in, in here. <laughs> There's one pile. But I was thinking that whole dog poop that I pointed out earlier, Julian got it, but he didn't know about it. So, but he picked up the rest, which I actually picked up some this morning, but who cares about dog poop? But anyways, I wanted to say thank you guys so much for watching and being here. I've got to cut this and charge my phone because it's gonna die again. I charged it enough to like get this out. Um, if you enjoy, don't forget to leave a heart down in the comments below and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye. Okay, hold on. I lied, I'm not leaving yet because I can't leave that piece of poop in the barbecue station. But also, um, cause he's gonna be in there cooking and plus now it's bugging me. <laughs> Especially after I just said, oh, don't leave stuff. Um, socket air light is what the light is drop that down try to open this oh my gosh i can't do anything there we go that is exactly what it is it's as seen on tv <laughs> three fan speeds three light settings no wiring it has a remote and recessed light extender included but I didn't use that but yeah that is what it is so you can have the fan off or on with the light on or off it doesn't matter you know or you know what I mean like the light can be on or off or the fan like you can have both or just the light or just the fan and the fan has three speeds and light has three settings so it's pretty cool just wanted to let you know i was like shoot i gotta tell them i always do that this is why i try to talk so much in my videos sometimes because i'm like i feel like i always forget everything so then it's like ends up being a super random video but let me get that poop okay i just re-strung the line over there and had no idea that like i could do it from here I didn't think that if I would have some go in that it would actually like stay in. I don't know what I was thinking. So I just kept taking it off and bringing it all the way through here. I wrapped it around. 
and then once I figured it out with that one then I just did it this way so like I had it still hooked up but I made some go in if you can see it in there I don't know but well, I guess you can't really see it the point is I had it go in um, instead of wrapping it around like that I just didn't know it worked like that so my bad so in case you guys get some you can do that it's much easier <laughs> learn from my mistakes also I just took the clothes down the towels do feel softer so yeah they feel much better so the white vinegar does work one cup of white vinegar if you do hang your clothes and then before I go um, real quick, I am going to turn on the lights and show you. So this little thing is what we use. Those are on. And the light is going. This is low. Medium. High. You can turn the fan. Well, let's do it this way. You can turn. Okay, here's the lights. The low. Medium. High medium low just in case you didn't see it turn off the light fan still going turn on the light turn off the fan so yeah anyways i'm gonna turn i'm gonna turn the fan onto high and turn the light onto high and then i'm just gonna turn all of it off so when he turns this on from inside, he'll be like, whoa, where'd that come from? If he notices. Okay, so obviously the one cup of white vinegar will work even if you don't use, you know, a clothesline. But so if you don't have fabric softener and you feel like you don't want to spend the money on it, use that if you do buy that. We obviously don't buy enough of it. We need a big jug <laughs> because I'm going to start doing that every time because they feel much better. Granted, I'm not wearing any of them right now, but yeah, I am. I am so gross. I need I need a shower so bad, but I'm gonna wait. I don't know if when Earl gets here, if he's everyone's gonna show up or what, you know, because obviously he's gonna wanna start cooking probably right away. That's usually how we do it, so. I'm just gonna rock my needing to be shaved legs. Just getting too much information, but it's out there. <laughs> oh man. All right, if you guys enjoyed today's video, please leave me a heart down in the comments below. And also, I really need to learn when to cut off a video, but I hope you enjoyed and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.